Hi, it's Chester Tuckwell at Blue Peak and Computer Training. In this video, we're in the Power Pivot add-in and we're going to look at the DAX function called Distinct Count. Distinct Count. Now, what we want to do in this sales table is count the number of distinct dates in the date column. So we will then know the number of selling days in our database. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to click into the calculation area to do this function. We're going to create a measure. Now if you're going to create a measure, um, you need to name it first of all. So I'm just going to, up here, I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it selling days. And then I need to use a colon to say that's the end of the name. And then I put my equals in. So the function I want is distinct count, there we are. And all I need to do is specify the column I want to perform the distinct count in. So that's my date column. I can close the bracket there and I press enter. So now it says selling days 2001. So there are 2001 selling days in my database. So how might this be useful? Well, if I went to create a pivot table now, say I put it on a new worksheet, so what I can do is I can open up my sales table and look, there is a calculated field there called selling days. So for example, if I said branch there, and then I said selling days, I can see how many days each of these branches actually sold items on. And there might be 101 other applications for that calculation. Okay, that's all I wanted to show you in this video. The distinct count DAX function in the Power Pivot add-in. It's been Chester Tuckwell at Blue Pecan Computer Training. Hopefully that's been helpful.